our relationship with the Outreach Foundation goes back to before the Syrian war and of course the collapse of Lebanon. Well, definitely partners in God's mission find their roots in Christ's love, whether in good times or tough times. However, Christian partnership is also tested during hardships. It is our story, the story of the Presbyterians in Syria and Lebanon with the Outreach Foundation. Choosing to partner with Christians in the Middle East is not an easy call, since not much good news comes from this region these days. Christians in Syria and Lebanon are faced with many challenges to their presence and existence even. It's a tough challenge for Western partners to involve themselves closely in these troubled countries. The Outreach Foundation responded to this call even in the riskiest time. Well, our partnership with the Outreach Foundation has never been a bureaucratic relationship. It was uh, always, I feel, like a Christ-like relationship. Amid the Syrian war, our wounds were healed, our eyes were touched, our hands were encouraged, held by saying, rise, your faith in Christ will save you. Be sustained, we are here for you in the name of Christ. Not only program directors and regional officers from the Outreach Foundation used to visit us, but always they were accompanied by pastors, elders, people from the pews from different congregations in the U.S. Christians from the USA meeting Christians from the Middle East. That was a source of encouragement and consolation to our congregations and our people here in Syria and Lebanon. Our relief program was supported. Houses were renovated and displaced people were enabled to go back to their homes. Our sick people found medication and health care. Refugee children were educated for a better future. Needy people were encouraged even to plant through, through a agro-basket program project. They were encouraged to plant their small gardens with vegetables to put food on their tables. Churches were rebuilt. Our pastors were supported and encouraged to take care also of their flocks. Mobilizing the congregational interaction between Christians from the U.S. to meet Christians from Syria and Lebanon. This was the scene on our troubled land during the Syrian war and now. The Outreach Foundation played not, not like, an, uh, like a post office or even mere mediator to provide only support. They offered real interaction, real physical presence of the believers from the U.S. with believers from the Middle East. This made a big difference in the congregation life of our different churches in Syria and Lebanon. You know, sometimes farmers seed their gardens with bitter seeds of apple to protect the good apples inside the garden from the intruders passing by. It's the situation of the Middle East these days. Only bad news, only bitter news can be heard of the region in, in the Western media. The Outreach Foundation took the risk to visit our garden, not from the outside, where bitter apples are planted. They took the risk to be inside and taste 
a different reality of our people. Churches. This is why they keep showing up and we are blessed by seeing them around.